Hi, it's Peter from Records. Um, in this video, I'm just going to go over a couple of our um, extractor machines. Um, I'm doing some work in uh, my workshop at the moment. I've had to replace all of the back of the, uh, the shed. Um, I took all the walls out. I've put a new one in, hence it's a little bit darker than normal. I'm not getting the light reflection off there. But while doing this, um, I need to sort out my ducting. At the moment, it's only sort of been put in place, but I've not really finished it. And one of the reasons was because I had to change this at some time. So I've been looking at a couple of my machines that I use to run the ducting system, which is going to give me the best um, service for what I want to do, the bandsaw, the sanders, got the, uh, the Herald lathe in the far end so I've got ducting in there plus a drill so I need to clean up and whatever like that. So I want a decent performance off a machine to service the bandsaw, take all the waste away, same as the, uh, the sanders. Now the single machine will look after the sanding applications of my disc sander and my belt and disc sander very well. Even better if I hook up the um, the cam back. It's just which one machine I was going to dedicate to the to do the applications. So I've done some little tests myself, so which I think you guys might uh, um, find interesting. Hopefully, um, in, if you have similar sort of workshops, most of us do uh, we'll work from home. We're working in our own little sh sheds, workrooms, areas like this. Um, so. We can't afford to have too many extractor in there. You want probably one machine to do all your applications. So hopefully this will um, help in a little way. So what I've found anyway. So first off, I'm going to run the RSD and then I'll run the cam back uh, on a single motor uh, for application you see see what the hose and the, the things does uh, against each other there's a difference there and also noise level um, that's that comes into it as well so you've got to be comfortable running an extractor uh, for yourself and also if you're close to neighbors if you can reduce the noise down uh, which you can with the cam back uh, it's, it's it's even better first of all I'm going to run the the RSD machine <laughs> The first thing you notice is the noise in it, and that's just due to the filtration um, that the system it goes through. Then with the comeback, and the, and notice the hose as well. So that's a noise level standard, and you can get the tooling hoses in there. So, against that, so it's a much more muffled noise. The cam backs as well, as documented by ourselves, we can run single motors up to two hours. With this other kind of mo uh, machine, this can run up to say 30 40 minutes but because of the way it's filtered it's going to get a lot warmer and um, if you've got long runs and applications it's not going to do it so those are two points i'm looking at is the noise level uh, that makes me comment okay it's a larger machine i can't put the smaller machine in i can do the 286 rather than the 336 uh, but then with the two motors in there it does get warm and um, the area I want to put it into is going to be there because I want to eventually kind of duct out over here as well. So I'm going to put that I think into there and do something with the hoses so I can spread those around so it um, reduce the noise level. But noise level wise that works really well. And performance wise. I think this down to this because it's lifting that one up and it's also pulling the other rows. This is the two motor one. So if I now stick it on to two motors, this answers all of my questions. I've got my uh, the area I'm working in, 
uh, for ducting is something like uh, 10 meters, about 30 odd foot, and so I want good performance at the far end. So against that one. And now with the twin motors. So the twin motor is giving me a massive volume of air and most of the time what I'm going to be doing is short work. I'm not going to have really long runs so I can run this machine amply for that period of time. If I'm sanding, probably I might be sanding for 5-10 minutes at the most um, on the lathe or even on the uh, belt and disc or the main disc sander I've got. I'll already be doing stud work and bits and pieces like that so uh, that should cover that. So like I say, we've had the hose, single motors, two hours. Um, but with the hoses fitted then you're going to reduce your running time. Um, but for power and performance, I think that answers my questions. Now a little bit of the science, if I take you into why uh, the noise level is different on that, answer this one. So on the standard RSD range, and also our DX1000, and many other people's extractors, the filtration is done the same. And both machines, Canvac and, and these, and other makes as well, I can't really um, say what their filtration is down to, but it's roughly about the same, and then 0.5 microns there or thereabouts. This range is twin filtration. The main part being in the internal filter, which is like a purulator filter, and then you get the paper filter bag over the top. It sits in there. So that sits in there, and you tuck it inside. So it's a, you've got twin filtration, and it's the noise. The high pitch noise is caused by the air being sucked through the internal filter, that's what makes it up. And also because it's kind of stifling the airflow, um, that's why they run hotter. So going back to the canvas, you get a, uh, a filter bag that sits inside, a cloth filter bag, one of these. So that sits inside the drum and all your waste is underneath of it. So you've got one level of filtration there, your inlet's there so the air's being pulled into there and take around the side of the filter bag. Then over the motor you've got a cage and you've got the second, well, the third line, the last line of filtration which is another one of these, that sits over the, the, the cage inside. And then finally you've got in between those, you've got the filter bag, the disposable filter bag. So that's in there and that's basically sat inside of there. So you've got triple filtration in the CAMVAC machines. That gives you a, a good filtration, fantastic filtration, but also it gives you a more serviceable one. The, the paper bag, um, these should be disposed of after 20 working hours or thereabouts. Or when you change the cloth bags, these again, um, I think we've said this before, these are serviceable. If you, uh, What you can do with these is wash them in some warm water and what I do is turn them inside out uh, so as, and, and swill them all out sort of thing so that the muck's going out. Um, but don't do it with hot water because of the elastic around them. So with those three elements of filtration, that's why the Canvax give you the longer running time because the air is much freer flowing through the unit. You can run it for longer periods and the machines uh, are not getting as hot. So that's the difference on those. So that sits inside of there, and vice versa. That sits inside of there. On this particular one I have got travel straps, I've got triple ones on this one. So that's the difference in the machines and uh, 
hopefully that little bit of information uh, is useful to you. And I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers for now.